Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to compare the boiling points of butanoic acid, which is a carboxylic acid with four carbons. And so you can see here we've got the four carbons and then we've got the carboxylic acid part. Then we've got ethyl ethanoate, which is an ester, which has a alcohol part with two carbons and a carboxylic acid with two carbons. Now, Kevin, how can we compare these two? Is this a fair test? Absolutely. Have a look here. The one on the left has four carbons and it's got eight hydrogens and two oxygens. The one on the right, which is the ester, has four carbons, eight hydrogens and two oxygens. And so these two molecules are isomers. Remember isomers are molecules that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. And so it's always very good to compare things that have the same molecular formula, otherwise you have too many variables. For example, you can't compare a long chain and a short chain and then say that the difference is due to hydrogen bonding versus dipole-dipole. You've got to keep the lengths the same sometimes when you do your comparisons. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with butanoic acid first. And so you just need to start identifying certain patterns. This part of the molecule and this part of this molecule are both nonpolar. Okay, so I'm going to say NP for nonpolar, nonpolar. And so this, when these two parts of the molecules come past each other in a tank, that would be London. Okay, so London forces are always going to be present. Then if you look at this part over here, oxygen has a very high electronegativity compared to carbon. And so the electrons are going to be more towards the oxygen, causing it to become slightly negative and keeping the carbon slightly positive. And obviously the same will happen in this molecule down here. So that one will be negative and this part will be positive. So that is a polar area. Polar is when you have a positive and a negative, just like you have a north and a south pole. So that's a polar section, and this is a polar section, and so this area would exert dipole-dipole on each other. I mean, think about this negative and this positive. They would attract each other quite strongly, and so that's going to be dipole-dipole. And then lastly, we need to have a look over here. So here we have an oxygen attached to a hydrogen, and then obviously we have the same down here. And so remember, we said that when you have hydrogen connected to either nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, and by the way, you should have a look at where those are on the periodic table, they're next to each other. Have a look at this. We can see that nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine are next to each other. So that's quite nice to remember. So when that happens, then we've got hydrogen bonding. Now guys, this over there is not the hydrogen bond. Remember, we are looking at intermolecular forces, the forces between molecules. The hydrogen bond is between this section over here and this section over here. That is the hydrogen bond. So, butanoic acid has London forces, dipole-dipole forces, and hydrogen bonding. So, it's going to have quite a high boiling point. In fact, if you Google it, boiling point, it has a boiling point of 163,5 degrees Celsius. That is high. That is higher than water, which boils at 100. So you need quite a lot of energy, meaning you need quite a high temperature, if you want to try and break all of these different bonds. Remember, hydrogen bonds are very strong. Dipole, dipole are second, and then London forces are weak but together they cause this molecule to be very difficult, or these molecules to, are very difficult to be separated from each other, and so you would need a temperature above 163.5 if you wanted to turn this into the gas phase. Now we will look at ethyl ethanoate, and so now it becomes quite easy because we know that this section and this section over here would have London forces. Why? Because a carbon-hydrogen section is like an alkane, and so it's nonpolar. And when you have nonpolar and a nonpolar, that's London forces. Then if we have to look at this section over here, that's going to be a polar section, okay? Because this oxygen over here is more electronegative, and so the electrons are going to be split more that way. Whereas this oxygen over here is more electronegative, and so the oxygens are going to go that way. But that's not going to cancel each other out. If you've got an arrow going this way and an arrow going that way, that doesn't cancel out. So there's definitely an imbalance over there, and so that's polar. 
and so this part over here would obviously also be polar and so between these two you're gonna have dipole dipole and then if we look at this part over here and this part over here well that's from the alkane type of molecule again and so that will be London forces and so this molecule does not have hydrogen bonding now hydrogen bonds are very strong and so would it be more easy or more difficult to separate these two from each other well well done if you said it's going to be easier why because you don't have hydrogen bonds and so you don't need as much energy to separate them you just need to break the London forces which are very weak and then you also need to break the dipole dipole which is slightly stronger than London but not as close or nowhere close to hydrogen bonding and so the boiling point of ethyl ethanoate will be lower than butanoic acid so let me quickly find that on Google and so there we have it the boiling point of ethyl ethanoate is only 77,1 compared to butanoic acid which was more than double and that is due to the presence of those hydrogen bonds that's all for this video thank you for watching